Hey guys, Angie Tanini Rogers, and I want to talk to you today about leverage. Uh, in order to uh, really be successful, you need to learn to leverage your time as well as other people's resources, skills, tools, etc. And um, part of that is learning how to leverage yourself and your time and then the people around you. So the first thing you need to do is to connect with other people that have skills that you don't have, um, have expertise that you don't have, and you want to connect connect with people that um, have the same type of mindset that you do and the same goals that you do. Uh, secondly, you want to have a dream and a vision. And um, basically, if you think of yourself as, as part of the leverage, you're the fulcrum, you're the, you're the part in the middle that's the, you're the object on which the lever rests. And the longer and deeper and wider um, and stronger the lever itself on top of the fulcrum is, the less time it will take to lift um, you know, the items, um, if you think about what a lever is. Um, so in relation to, you know, um, the abstract piece we're talking about, it's more of, um, you know, the deeper your connections go, the more you're able to leverage your time and resources and with the people around you, the less time it will take you to um, be effective. If you think about what the Bible talks about in the 11th hour, you know, that guy that came in the 11th hour in the field and worked, he got paid the same um, amount as the person that came the very first hour. That's the kind of stuff we're talking about, being able to really leverage the time in the shortest amount of time possible. Um, do the, you know, um, less work for the more money and more abundance. Um, so some things you need to think about when you are trying to really increase your leverage is, one, you need to find a mentor. I talked a little bit about that already, is connecting with people around you that have um, the same mindset you do and have resources to things that you may not have. So you want to network. Um, you want to a team. So you want, again, a, peop uh, um, a set of people that have strengths that you may not have and that you have strengths that they might not have so that you guys all complement each other and you're able to work together to get your goals met. Uh, we talked about networking, tools, skills, and um, communication. You want to make sure that you have a system set up. All successful people have a system that they follow and that is um, able to be replicated and duplicated. So you want to have a system that you follow as well as um, you can teach other people how to do that and um, you know streamline the process so that other people have the ability to do that so th those are my tips about uh, leverage so make sure that you are um, connecting yourself with a group of people that are going to be able to help propel you forward in your business and that you will help be able to propel them forward in their business as well. Um, no millionaire, no, no successful entrepreneur has ever done anything alone. They always have a team of people surrounding them and uh, as they grow, they um, seek out mentors who are more successful than them. You always want to have a mentor that is more successful than you and you always want to realize that you are more successful than someone else and can offer mentorship to someone else, you know, on a different level. So um, you're always seeking up, upward, as far as being mentored, and then you are always wanting to help others that don't know the same things that you do on the way up. So thanks, guys. Make it a great day, and please comment below this video and let me know what you think about leverage and how you've been able to leverage your time, your tools, your resources, uh, especially in relation to networking with other people and how important that is for your business. Thanks, guys. Make it a great day.